Hello there. Well, it's time for a, another unboxing review. I've actually got another figure to review and in a very short space of time since the last one. Uh, I, I, I'm not like a prolific Hot Toys buyer. I, I'm very picky about which ones I, which ones I get, but um, I had to get this one and I love Ahsoka. I think um, she's a fantastic uh, character. Um, brought in during the Clone Wars TV show. Um, she had a rocky start. They they had to um, get a character just right. I think she came into her own um, after the first season. Uh, but yeah, uh, the the final uh, for some reason Disney decided to cancel the Clone Wars when they took over Star Wars, which was very disappointing. I think it was their way of trying to cancel out anything of the prequels when they took over. They they weren't really a fan of them. But I think they came to their senses after a while and, and realised, you know, how much the fans uh, liked them and cared about them, and especially the Clone Wars as well. And uh, they brought it back in the final season that came out on Disney Plus was was amazing. And th this figure is based on on that look. So let's get it out of the box and uh, have a look at it. So this figure came from The Good, The Bad and The Robots. A uh, great UK seller. Um, he's, as I said before, he's my favourite UK seller, so I can't recommend him enough. Uh, check him out if you're looking for a 1-6 figure. He's actually um, got on his website right now um, the InArt Gandalf figure, which, you know, it's it's a really high-end Gandalf figure. So if you're looking to get that, um, check his uh, website out. And he's got it, for I think, for a pretty reasonable price for what it is. It's... Uh, because it's it's you know it's expensive wherever you go, and I think he's selling it for a very reasonable price. Just to quickly show you the the box art on the side here. There you go. Another the dynamic photograph of her two lightsabers. Here she is with all of her accessories. She's got a um, hologram there of Anakin, Obi-Wan Kenobi, um, and Yoda. I think that's a thermal detonator up there. And we've got the, the hollow projector, the hand hollow projector, uh, Poncho, and Ahsoka herself. Plus uh, two lightsabers somewhere in here. So I'm going to get everything out of the box and display it. Okay, so we've got um, four lightsaber blades here. We've got two motion lightsaber blades and one standard lightsaber blades. And um, we've got five hands, plus the two hands that's already on her. Okay, so here's the head sculpt, guys. Um, I actually like, they changed their eyes, they made them slightly bigger. I think that really fits in well with uh, the Clone Wars TV show. So I was happy with the change there because I think they went for more of a um, younger looking Rosaria Dawson when they first announced her, but she seems to be closer to how she looks in the TV show, but still in, with that realistic look that they've gone for as well. The outfit is really nice. Um, it's, a, it's a little bit of like thin pleather at the top part there. Um, some lycra for the legs. She's got arm and feet. Um, and like a hard plastic on the on the armor parts either side for where you, you can actually fit on her um, lightsabers. Yeah, it's very really nice. Uh, you know, I think it, it they've they've done a good job. The uh uh Leku or the um like the tails that she has coming down um look a hard type plastic a hard hardish it's so it's soft it's so you can move it around but it's not soft enough to really like um have lots of uh articulation with the head um to get the poncho on you're going to have to pop the head off and also you're going to have to remove the headpiece um to move the eyes i'm actually um quite happy with how the eyes are positioned so i am going to I'm gonna leave it like that, but yeah, it's just it's the same with any other site. The latest peer systems that you get on 
Hot Toys figures as uh, you have uh, like a stick that you can move the eyeball from the back. And there you go, this is what she looks like from the back. So here's how the, the poncho goes on. So uh, the figure stands pretty well on its own, by the way, which I, I'm pretty pleased about. Um, this is the poncho. Now you have to pop the head off, as I said, and I have just been struggling like anything to pop the head off to the point where I'm like, uh, no, I don't like, I, I'm putting too much pressure on to pull this head off um, the shoulders of this figure. And I've stopped because I do not want to break this figure. So. Unfortunately, that and this is frustrating. That head should pop off like much easier than than that. I shouldn't be struggling with it, especially with the um, the thin um, outfit that she's got on. You know, it could easily tear if I if I pull it too much. So that that's disappointing. But um, come on, Hot Toys, if you're going to make a figure where you you know it's required to get the head off and move eyes and um, put ponchos on. You can't have a, a you know the head stuck on like that. Maybe other people have had less of a problem, but I, I just uh, didn't want to risk it. But overall, I wasn't going to display it with the poncho anyway. So, but um, the way she looks, I, I I really like that. I'm gonna now put her in with um, oh that's just just show you her uh, that's a stand if you haven't seen it. So I'm now going to put her in with uh, Anakin and Obi Wan. So there you go, guys. That's what she like. she's like with the two Jedi, Anakin and Obi-Wan. And there's Ahsoka in the middle. I'm pretty pleased with how that's... I would have liked to have had a more dynamic shot with her holding her lightsabers um, a bit more further out, but um, it would have looked like she was accidentally cutting both Obi-Wan and Anakin's arms, so I decided against that. I'm going to stick the lights on to show you what it's like. I'm just showing you in natural lighting, so I'm just going to stick the lights on. And there she is, the natural. It's very dark today, and I'm not getting very much natural light coming into the house, unfortunately. Um, this flicker effect is is caused by the lights and the camera. It's not actually uh, flickering in my in my house, thank goodness. But uh, yeah, there they are. Really pleased um, how that looks. So there you go. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Um, just a simple unboxing and display video. There's actually not a lot to Ahsoka. Not, she's not as intricate as uh, Boba Fett, but um, I'm still happy with the end result of that figure. Um, apart from a few minor grumbles, uh, like um, replace, you know, getting the head off the shoulders, which um, I'm sure if I'd have given it more force, it probably would have popped off. But I just don't have the guts to do that. <laughs> um, so yeah, going forward, should have um, Django Fett um, in the near future because he's, he's been released um, overseas. So we just got to wait and see what you know how long it takes for the UK to get hold of him. Um, but I, from what I've seen of that figure, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, and going forward, I'm I'm not too sure. I mean, I'm, as I said, I'm going to talk about the uh, Obi Wan TV show. I think I'm going to give my views on that every week, whether you want to like it or not. <laughs> um, fingers crossed it, it's gonna be really good because uh, you know I've been waiting a long time uh, to see uh, Hayden and Ewan back in their roles and uh, I just I just hope Disney does it, does it justice. And um, I think and I was, now and then I still pick up um, steel books. So I, if I see some really good steel books um, available, I will pick them up and uh, review those. Um, I've got as I said, I think the late last one I bought was the Dune one, which was really good. And I've been looking at a Northman one, which I think HMV have on pre-order. So um, I might look at getting a hold of that one. But thanks for watching this video. And uh, hopefully I'll have some more stuff for you later on. Take care.